Good morning, family of fast. Matt Mossman, the Chief Endurance Officer over at Endurelite. I've been kind of on a protein kick uh, this week talking about it. Uh, first, we talked about grass fed whey protein, then, we talked about native whey. And today, I'm going to talk to you about a tricky tactic some protein uh, manufacturers use called amino spiking. And amino spiking is basically where companies will add cheap amino acids uh, to their protein powders to artificially inflate the protein quantity in your protein powder. So for example, your protein may label may say 25 grams of protein, but if a company amino spikes, that value could actually be much, much less. We're talking about 12 to 15 grams of protein as opposed to 25 grams stated on the label. Now this practice is perfectly legal, which is really crap, but I'm gonna basically tell you what amino spiking is, how to spot it, and why you should avoid it. But it basically comes down to not getting ripped off or being bamboozled or tricked. So, amino spiking, here's, here's what it is. It's when companies will add uh, cheap amino acids like glycine, arginine, glutamine, and creatine uh, to their protein powders, again, to artificially inflate the protein value. Now, how does this work, actually? Well, since amino acids are nitrogen-bearing compounds and since total protein quantity is tested on nitrogen, when you throw a bunch of cheap amino acids in there that will test positive for certain amounts of nitrogen, it will throw the total protein value off. So again, when companies amino spike, that label may say 25 grams of protein, but because they basically infuse it with these cheap amino acids, it'll artificially inflate the value of the protein. So a very, very dirty tactic. Now, here's how you spot amino spiking. Um, if you see amino acids like glycine, glutamine, arginine, and creatine in the other ingredients section of a supplement facts panel, it's more than likely been amino spike. So say for example, you have a whey isolate and in the other ingredients you see whey isolate and then you see these other amino acids immediately after it, um, it's probably amino spike. Now I wanna make one thing clear. If you see these amino acids in the supplement facts panel and not in the other ingredients and it stays specifically on the label that it's fortified with these amino acids, then it's not probably protein spiked. But again, if you see these amino acids in the other ingredients section, it's probably amino spiked. Uh, other things to look out for, if you're going to the store and you find a, a two pound tub of protein and it's like $15, <laughs> it's probably amino spiked too because protein is not cheap. So again, I'd be willing to bet you go to your neighborhood Walmart and you pick up a, a cheap uh, protein powder and it's $15 for two pounds and I bet you I bet you I bet you a million dollars that that protein powder will have those cheap amino acids in it like uh, the glycine the glutamine the creatine the arginine and things like that so you definitely want to avoid it with like all things protein powder included you really get what you pay for if you purchase a high quality whey isolate or whey concentrate at a two pound tub I mean you're looking at minimum of pain you know 30 to 40 dollars for something like that so that in a nutshell is what amino spiking is and why you want to avoid it at all costs because you're basically getting a crappy ass protein that's really not going to do anything in terms of muscle repair and recovery. So that is all I have for today on amino spiking and protein for the week. If you have a buddy that likes protein but powders, please share this video with them. If you want other videos like this on endurance training, nutrition, supplementation, random musings, dirty tricks and tactics other supplement companies will use, subscribe to the Endurly YouTube channel or head on over to the Endurly blog at www.endurly.com. Get social with us on Facebook and Instagram. And until next time, my endurance friends, stay fueled, stay focused, stay fast, and stay informed.